Hey everybody, this is going to be instructions on how to install 7 Days to Die Mod Launcher with Undead Legacy with Compo Pack involved for more prefabs. First off, Google 7 Days to Die Mod Launcher. First link here, modlauncher.org. This is where we go. Click download to bring you down the page. You're going to be clicking on the Windows download. Click download and ex extract. Um, and then it'll automatically run modlauncher.exe. Otherwise, if you go to your downloads folder, it'll look something like this and just launch the mod launcher from there. Once you've extracted it, uh, unless it does it for you automatically. Great. Uh, ignore the mods that I've already installed. It takes a while to copy these things over, so I did it ahead of time, but I will be taking you step by step through. Make sure your Steam 7 Days to Die version is up to date. That'll save you time. So. Right up here, it says install and overhaul in the top left corner. Click on that. Scroll down to your desired mod. We're going to be doing Undead Legacy. So right from here, it's Undead Legacy. It says experimental, but this is not. Click install and then copy from local is much faster. Otherwise, if you need to download from Steam, punch in your info, pick the version you want for the mod. It's usually specified in the description, uh, but we're going to copy. Um, if you don't know where your 7 Days to Die is on Steam, it's really easy to find. Go to your library, right click on 7 Days, Manage, Browse Local Files. This is where your 7 Days to Die folder is. You're going to let the mod launcher make a copy of this for you. So remember where this is. So then you hit Browse, go to... Yours is probably in C Program Files, and then it'll be under Steam, Common, Anyway, doesn't matter. Mine's it just follow the, the where it is, <laughs> and there it is. So then, once you find that seven days to die folder, you're done. You hit select. You hit start copy. That will copy your original folder. So then, when it starts to mod it, it won't mess with your original copy for Steam. So you can still play vanilla separately. And then this will also install the mod right automatically. Once you're done with that, it will take you back to this screen. It takes 3 to 15 minutes, depending on your hard drive situation. Now you are ready to play Undead Legacy Baseline. However, if you want to do the compo pack, you have to add that manually. There's a link right here to open up your folder. So this is where you have copied and installed Undead Legacy to a separate location. Now we're going to go back to the browser. And if you just Google seven days to die compo packed with a P, it's the first result, Mag Magolis. Now for Undead Legacy, you need a specific copy. So if you just search, or if you scroll down a little bit further, compo pack for Undead Legacy Edition, no CP traders, click download. It's about 200 megs. It does take a little bit because I think they have a pretty low speed, but uh, it's just this little red download button right here. Once you have it, Let's see where we are. Downloads. It'll it'll download as a zip file. Unzip it. Here's the folder. There's these nice instructions here. Follow these instructions step by step. I will also take you through it. So, uh, the prefab folder. These all of these folders. Select them all and copy. They are going to go into your Undead Legacy folder, and it is called data prefabs and paste them into here. You'll probably only have these four. So it'll be parts, POIs, RWG, and test. Post, so paste them into this folder. The next thing you're gonna do is undid legacy mod. So you go back to the downloaded folder you have. So open up the mod folder. Oh, did I move it? I didn't, ins so. And drag the folder named CP48.1 complete. And that needs to go into your mod folder. So if we go back to Undead Legacy, mods, this folder right here used to be over here. So ignore this one right here, the for server use only, you're not doing a server. Just drag the CP48.1 from your downloaded into your Undead Legacy folder right here next to these other ones. <coughs> and last but not least, add the contents of uh, it's kind of complicated. It, it says this folder name, so add contents to, like this is the general instructions. They should have just done this with all of it. These are JPEGs so that it'll populate in the trader. 
So go here, and then we are going to data, going to prefabs, and then going to POIs. And then you're just going to copy all these JPEGs and paste them into here. This will let the uh, traders populate the little JPEG when it's previewing uh, your mission. Once you've done that, you are good to go. Close all your folders, and you can start on up playing the game. If you have any questions or troubleshooting, let somebody know. <laughs> have a good day.